It was a tough set, but it shows you the benefit of a great kick. Yeah, it was a tough set of six of outside there, 20, and an early kick from Nico Hines, deep into the left corner for the penalty side. And we see them now under pressure trying to work it out. And they came and ambushed them. Got out to a 10-0 lead before Penrith just grafted and grinded away for a narrow. Teams, eight different players scoring the first try. I mean, it could be Mitch Kenny get the first four-pointer tonight, or Lindsay Smith. It's an incredible record. Never known the like of it. Yo with it. And uh, back. And crossfield now straightening Luai. And a crossfield with Peachy. Couple of tries last. Siri, left side, switches inside. Tackle. That is some shot. Lead to fullback for Cronulla. What they do on the left window uh, remains to be seen. And Penrith with Smith. Good reward for, for Lindsay to be in the starting side tonight. Moses Liotta starting off the bench. Far wing for the Canola Sharks at the moment, certainly defending there. Craig Fitzgibbon, his versatility. Moving Connor Tracy straight back to fullback. Thoroughly planned, the Cronulla coach. It's to your side. It is a big reshuffle, Andrew. So they're going to weather another set. Cronulla now. Penrith 20 metres away from the line. Michael experience in Fox League commentary tonight. Cleary for Edwards. The Edwards-Kennedy clash was one of the, one of the standouts coming into the game. They've uh, been in terrific form. Kenny, Yo, Fisher-Harris goes sideways in. Set restart, Penrith. This is now full-blooded assault from Penrith. Smith spins almost right under the cross. Play now, such as the brand of their football. They play four of their last six here at home. Earning four consecutive minor premierships in the third of the past four seasons. Another set restart too. This is getting to be a pass. Some risk involved from Martin Clayton. Does the juggle. Panthers with the river now. Right. Big improver, isn't he? Lindsay Smith. Here it is again. Here is Peachy. Cut down by McInnes. It's to bring it back. In Edwards and Katoa, we have two of the top three tackle busters in the NRL for Sioni just yet. Peachy now. And Fisher Harris fresh as a daisy. Here's Cleary now. 20 away from the line. Last five minutes inside his own half. Brian Toll. He looked a little unsteady, but he got the catch. One of the great entertainers bringing it back. He put on a show last week. I Apologies to Brunella fans, but I, I do want to see what the next try celebration of Brian Toto is before July ends. He must have another one to back up last week's superb double. He was thinking attack the moment the ball was coming his way. Edwards. He's working hard. Cameron McInnes defensively getting through an enormous amount of work. 26 tackles in the opening 19 minutes of the game. 26 tackles in. Well, number 13, Georgie is his for the rest of the year with the injury to Dale Fanuka. Sorensen. 35 or what? Cronulla a little rattled. A cross and switch from Cleary. Lua. Oh. He's playing the game at his own speed. You do wonder if, if we had big this and George Side would always play match of the day with CG and half time post match show all here in the corner at Penrith at the southern end of the ground. Now Edwards with it, He's weaving his way across field, the seventh carry of the night. And there's uh, some head contact there. Ooh, and Penrith off their own line. McInnes again. How good did he go? Oh, oh, Edwards. He's, he's just an incredible rise. You go back you know, four yeah. seasons ago and uh, you look at the games and now he's he's a million dollar player based on what he Produces, what he delivers. Yeah. By the way, McInnes' tackle count is now 34. 34 tackles in 29 minutes. Game back from the hamstring injury. Pressure again on Cronulla as if they needed to concede a 40-20. Kenny and Yo, and now Eisenhut back through the middle. 
pit in 43 of the beans. The other thing, with everything that was going on then, we, we just didn't give him enough compliments for his pass selection to Crichton and what that did to Cronulla's left edge. That was a brilliant pass from Cleary that set up the try. Looking forward to hearing uh, Mal, because we, we're waxing lyrical about the Penrith completion rate, 22 or 23. That counts as a completed set. One tackle, but that's a completed set. So the Cleary... What is significant is the tackle count that's climbing. 172 now for Crichton. Offloaded late. Edwards bouncing about. This becomes the... It's incredible. Eisenhuth with the ball. I'll say it again. The perfect Panthers. They are doing it here. Kenny charging oh, run. Oh, that is Braley at his best. Yeah, Fabi. <laughs> As Clyde has just said, no, I'm not checking it. No, I'm, I'm done. No, I'm done. <laughs> Cross to Solson. Inside the... A little slow, the service. He wants it now. He now wants it. Now he's in position. If they get the play, the ball away. They try and pick up with a left off. What a field goal attempt by Nathan Cleary right on half time. Eh? Oh, Fayette puts much effort in. Yo with the ball now. Up over the 30, he goes. 100th game for Torrance and Royce Hunt still waiting to come on. He's got a little milestone tonight. He's uh, 50th game. Why? He's in such a lively running mood tonight. Look at that. He's ducking, he's weaving, he's stepping, he's swerving. Kenny to Cleary, switch. Moses gets another run at him. Five minutes from the line. Yo straightens. He's now just five away. It's relentless from Penrith. Steve with his next tackle. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. You just saw their middle forwards. Now that's Peachy. Here they go. They keep rolling. Edwards wants it now. The outside backs of Penrith going to work. Cronulla did put on 26 second half points last week. A different get Luai and Eisenhuth. It's almost like the bump came after it. We've already been caught, but anyway. Sorensen. Penrith will get back into shape here. Crichton now. Across the face of goal, and Cronulla able to make the tackle. McInnes, 65, 65 tackles. Oh my gosh, look at this bloke. He is this, an absolute yeah, is warrior. Seriously, 65 tackles with still 24 minutes remaining. The nervous 90s with his tackles. Cronulla would like to see go to Golden Point, 22 nil down. Now, Kenny. Panthers, what about that? They're, they're able to throw a fresh man on. 22 0 with 24 to go. Hosking seeing his first football, but how do you suddenly just eliminate the errors from your game? Yeah, you can see there McKin with Peachy in the sin bin. There's the 70th. There it is. <laughs> yeah. Now the ball with Cleary on for Luai. He's beaten so many men tonight. Has, has anyone got him first up? The, the melon. With a pattern. It's a different category altogether. Now, Yo, Smith on the spin, McKinnis there, tackle 72. I know there's cricket on, an important cricket at that, but this might be the highest score of the night. Kevin McKinnis, Cleary, passes back. Smith continues to impress in the middle of the park for the Panthers. He's played out of that off the mark. There it is. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. 75 for Cameron McKinnis. 75th tackle on Scott Sorensen. The 76th quickly follows. He is on target for 90. The standard of play has gone up again. It just gets better and better. Well off the mark. Not sure about the play the ball. Play on. Still more work to be done. There's 79. McKinnis in that tackle. And top of Another carry with five and a half to go. I say, uh, coming from the field, you can hear it there through the sound effects mics down at ground level. Uh, a wonderful reception and appreciation for their captain. He's had a tremendous night. I still here at Fox Lee. So there'll be a, a recount. There he is again. Just to check, but 82. Ruthless can they be against a committed Cronulla. Eisenhuth, another great set. Cronulla 